All right, here we are, game one of our uh, of our Legacy Merfolk League. Remember to find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Is at FishCastMTG. You'll find out when we go live for streams. You'll find out when we uh, do all that fun stuff. And uh, you also know when, when new episodes of the show go live. So that is how you get in touch with us. And we love talking with people. Uh, this is an okay hand. This is not a uh, not a super crazy. Um, but it's keepable. It really just depends on what our opponent's doing. Plug my Facebook group. <laughs> Oh, the, yes, the, 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 the great Merfolk group is the, uh, is the Merfolk Splash to Victory group. That is, a, that is a Facebook group that is great. I would definitely recommend going there. We have a Verdant Catacombs from our opponent. Sorry about that, Sean. I, I should definitely plug that. <laughs> All right, so uh, Island, and uh, we'll just pass the turn. as is the pimp's way. Another great place to find uh, great Merfolk discussion is the Merfolk uh, Discord, as well as the subreddit. Oh, we're against uh, Merit Leish combo. Dark Depths, AKA Dark Depths. Um, that's, I think that's pretty much the only deck that plays Thespian stage. Um, so we're gonna hit this island here and uh, we're gonna start with Silvergill. We're gonna keep up Phantasmal Image because Phantasmal Image is Fantastic against uh, uh, against this against uh, Merit Lage. So we'll just uh, what is going on? There we go. We'll reveal Lord of Atlantis. Oh yeah, this is totally d d dark depths. Why is my mouse acting up? That is not good. Well, Eric, uh, uh, there's there's a, a lot of Facebook groups for different um, specific uh, specific meta deck like decks. Yeah. Oh yeah. We have we have over a thousand people in our group. There's uh, Facebook groups for like Burn for for Dark Depths. Uh, you could find them all over the place. They're great for discussion. Along with uh, places like the Masters of Modern uh, is another great place for a discussion. Uh, well, I mean, like I'm on Facebook basically just so just for my family. Uh, you know, I've got family all over the U.S., so it's good to keep in contact with people like that and like uh, old old work friends. Um, also, in the chat, the uh, the there's the crop rotation. <clears throat> and uh yeah so in the chat our, our our link just posted for the deck list so if you want to see the deck list it's in the chat link oh yeah maybe we should have forced that but he, he only got urborg so i'm not quite uh He still doesn't have it, and uh, we have the phantasmal image as well. So, what is going on here? My mouse is not okay. Hopefully, that fixes it. <sighs> okay. Uh, well. So I think what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to get down a vial and smuggler's copter. Um, smuggler's copter can act as a blocker for, for the Merit Lage token. So it gives us a turn. He basically just can't like, he can't windmill slam a win off of this. So um, we'll go ahead and tap the Muta Vault for an Aether Vial. Unless for some reason, People won't know you're married. <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and 
uh, play smuggler's copter, and we're just going to pass the turn. Uh, we'll, if our opponent does pull out some sort of crazy way to win the game, we want to let him know that he does not have that opportunity. Oh no, it's okay, Eric. Uh, people, we we all we're all uh, we all just sit there and talk, you know. All right, so there's the merit lege, and he gets the. So yeah, so we're we're safe now, basically, unless he has a removal spell right away. Uh, because then we just copy merit lege with our phantasmal image. I mean, I won't say we're like out of the woods, but we're definitely in a much better place. There's a bayou. Born on a bayou. <laughs> Every time I see bayou, I like to I like to think of that. <laughs> I like to hear it in my head. All right, let's see what Grizzle Pluff's all about. Grizzle Puff. Also, uh, let me know if the uh, music is a little too loud. Uh, I've been trying to keep it down lately. Uh, I've had a few complaints about it, so it's it's pretty far down. Dark Confidant. <sighs> so my problem with Dark Confidant is every time I leave it alone, like don't kill it, they just draw cards. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely not... He can take the extra damage off of it, but I always feel like... Uh, I, I just always I always feel like every time I... Uh, every time I do that, like, it doesn't... Uh, like, it doesn't help me. Okay. So now the best thing... Um, I mean, this isn't any better than anything in our hand, so we'll just pitch the, oh, it's a uh, Merit Lage. It's a 2020 with flying and indestructible. Um, so the best card to pull right now would be Echoing Truth. Um, so you get Merit Lage from Dark Depths. It enters the battlefield with 10 ice counters. You remove an ice counter from Dark Depths. Uh, when Dark Depths has no ice counters on it, sacrifice it. If you do, create a legendary 2020. Um, and so basically what you do is you use Thespian Stage to just become a copy of it. And when it becomes a copy, night-night, night-night, dum-dum. Um, when you use the Thespian Stage to become a copy, it just loses all its counters and it becomes a 2020. So, yeah, we'll put a counter. Uh, that was not great. <laughs> um, all right, so let's, uh, Cast Phantasmal Image. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I just, uh, I wanted to keep the, uh... yeah. Our opponent does not have any islands yet, so. All right, and uh, we'll just pass the turn. Let's hope our opponent takes a bunch of damage off this Dark Confidant. Come on, Bobby. Oh, he got another Urborg. Sure. He can draw an Urborg. That's fine. Um, I just didn't want to lose it because uh, next turn we can drop a second Lord as long as there isn't something Force worthy. Uh, do not want. Do not feel that that is something that should happen. Because then he can get a uh, a ghost quarter. Uh, he can get ghost quarter. He can get a... Uh, uh, what's that new one called? Uh, 
Yeah, we probably should have attacked there. There's another Dark Depths. That's fine. Hmm. Four, five. Well, I guess we can just vial it in. Um, yeah, Field of Ruin. That's the card I was thinking of. Uh, I mean, now we're in kind of a stalemate. We just uh, we need to draw Echoing Truth is what we need. Because if we draw Echoing Truth, we just win. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's that's one thing is we have five mana and uh so we could just keep this card in hand and Thoughtseize? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yep. Well now there's no way for him to think that we have force. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, crop rotation. Get rid of his Orborg. He's probably going to get another uh, oh, Sajiri step. Oh, okay. Yep, he, he wins. He wins. Yeah, we should have been... We should have uh, uh, forced because he can now just run past our Merit Lage. All right. G G. We should have uh, forced that first um, crop rotation that he did earlier. All right, let's. Uh, why are you messing up so bad? All right, so. Um, True name nemesis doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, what we do want is sorcerer spyglass. Why is this going? I'm going to get some new batteries here real quick. Bear with me. I will be right back. This is not... Be right back. All right, let's change these batteries real quick. Uh, so we're definitely bringing in, uh, oh, come on, there we go. Yeah, Venser Spyglass back to basic seems pretty good. Uh, Venser, we just need more sources for bouncing and Merit Lage when it does come down, or if it does come down. Uh, back to basics, just make sure that even if he, you know, he'll, he'll only ha he'll have, He'll have to jump through more hoops, basically, to, to get his things going here. There we go. All right, so dump these batteries. <clears throat> All right. Uh, back to basics. Um... Uh, we don't want to cut Vile. Um, I think I think Vile's fine. Uh, True Name Nemesis is a little bit less less good here, um, but we may have, we may have to cut. Yeah, Instant Speed Image is pretty pretty baller. Um, Curse Catcher is also is also pretty good in this in this matchup. Um, I think True Name Nemesis is just a little too slow uh, for what we're doing, and uh, we definitely want. Let's cut. No, we don't want to cut lords. Um, chalice isn't quite as good here. Um, we'll cut two chalices. All right, and let's uh, see what we can do here. 
Uh, they also bring an artifact hate though, which is which is something too. Um, this is fine. Uh, we have a trickster, which is also really good. Uh, make it lose all abilities. Uh, that can just turn it off for a turn. Oh, I should probably. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. All right. Um, I'm gonna go island. Curse catcher. We can turn off a uh, an, an early crop rotation. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, uh, Mox Diamond from our opponent. Yeah, sorry about that, Sean. It's, it should be fixed now. All right, uh, Dark Confidant, sure. Uh, we hired uh, uh, Ishton on Twitter, who did all of our logos. He's done. He did this overlay. He did our uh, our emotes, which are very sweet. Mm. We do need to get double blue down. And uh, I'm not comfortable attacking with Curse Catcher because he, I, I could see him blocking with Curse Catcher. Yeah, Ishton is really good. Uh, he also did our. Uh, I'm going to type him in here. Our uh, Twitch emotes uh, for our subs. Those are the different levels in order. So it's uh, it's uh, Miss Merfolk Mistbinder, uh, Jade Bear lookalike, and uh, um, Silvergill with uh, Branch Walker. All right, we got a Bayou from our opponent here. Another Bob. Um, so for the for the stream, uh, he did it for for the the artwork. Uh, he did it was a hundred hundred twenty for the overlay and for the. Uh, um, and for the emotes. And uh, Ishtin does quality work, as you can see, so highly recommend. Ugh, that's not what we needed. Uh, we need the counter spell. Tap Vault in case we draw another catcher. Oh, I see what you mean. I should have I should have tapped. Uh, um, I should I should have tapped Muta Vault uh, Island for the Silver Gill. That that would have been the more optimal play. Another Mox. Uh, or Borg Tomb of Yagmoth was a. Uh, was discarded that way. Ugh. Okay, well that happened. Yep, there's the hex mage. We're in a pretty bad bad spot here. <clears throat> well, uh, we can do this to turn off uh, thespian stage and see what they have in hand. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to name Thespian Stage here. Or we could name Mox Diamond. I mean, they have the crop rotation, so we need to turn off the Thespian Stage. But in another world, we could... Uh... Oh, unless they're mana abilities. Never mind. So Thespian Stage is the target. Choose 
Choose a card name. Oh. Despian stage. Or Hex Mage, yeah. I mean... Basically, he can get it and look either way. Oh, geez. I'm sorry, everybody. I will get the hang of this stream thing, I promise, one of these days. Thank you for letting me know that, Sean. Okay. He has his Merit Lage. He just drew another Dark Confidant. Oh, no, I did it at the wrong time. Ugh. I mean, I guess we could still block it. <laughs> That's just not the way we want to do it. That's not how we should have done it. We should have done it pre-attacks, but now we can at least block it. <laughs> well, that's that's fine. I, I I'm not. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, man. I haven't streamed in. Uh, it's been two weeks. He's got himself another hex mage. Ooh, <laughs> that's actually not bad. Uh, and actually, we need it to cast just the one. Uh, well, I mean, we're pretty much just not doing anything. We're just uh, casting this Phantasmal image. Copying the Merit Lage. Yeah, both of them say... Uh, so we want to keep up Mutavault as a blocker, basically, because he does have a pretty wide board. Uh, I mean, yeah, we just don't have any other blue sources. Like, 
the, these are these both say merfolk and then these don't untap due to the choke so uh unfortunately yeah thought i clicked a certain button but here <laughs> clicked the start yeah that's that's definitely happened to me before as well abrupt decay oh that's it gg he uh, abrupt decays our merit lage and we can do nothing all right. Well, I mean, that, that does happen every once in a while. So uh, we should have definitely been at least game one more aggressive with our force of wills. And um, I mean, there's there's definitely uh, some, some mistakes made. So we'll just move on to the next match here.